Jenkins, our state representative, and Ryan Meadows, the city council member. Woo! I gotta say this, I gotta say this. Hi, Jeannie Darnell. Hey, baby. Are you all ready for marriage equality in Washington? What? Are you all ready for marriage equality in Washington State? So, Ryan and I get the great honor of introducing a lot of wonderfully, support, wonderfully supportive elected officials to you today. And uh, before we go through uh, introducing all of them, I, I want to introduce to you the, uh, the first gubernatorial candidate in the history of Washington State who from the very first moment he announced that he was running for governor said that he supported marriage equality. No one had to ask, no one had to ask Jay Inslee how he stood on this issue. No one had to ask him to be out and say he supported marriage equality. On his own, Jay said from very day one that we needed to have marriage equality in Washington and he is here with us for the second year. He's focused on equality, on jobs, on women having the health care and choice that they need, on all the right things for Washington State. I want you to give it up for the next governor of the state of Washington, Jay Inslee. Uh, my, my name is Jay Inslee, and I believe Washington is a great state. We've got Mount Rainier. We've got the Olympic National Park. We've got the Tacoma Rainiers, the coolest baseball team in the league. And very soon, because you and I are going to get out there and fight, we're going to have full marriage equality for the first state in the United States to vote for full marriage equality. Here's how I look at this. I've been married for 39 years. It's been a perfect marriage because it's a marriage between a husky and a cougar. So it's a perfect marriage. And here's what I believe. I don't think any politician in this state of any party, urban or rural, big or small, rich or poor, should have the right to tell any Washingtonian who to love or who to marry. That's what I believe. So we know what it takes to move forward. We know what it took in the civil rights marches of the 60s. We knew it took a struggle that I am very happy we finally won to now allow all Americans to serve in our armed forces regardless of your orientation. We've had these victories. But what these, ta these victories take is work. It takes people getting out there and voting, making calls, helping these great candidates, talking to your uncles, talking to your cousins. I want to ask people to do this. Would everybody who's a registered voter raise your hands? Could you just raise your hands? Okay, that's great. Now, can everybody who's not a registered voter yet raise your hand? Just raise your hand if you're not registered. I want everybody who's not registered to come over and talk to this guy with an Inslee sign to get you registered. And I want to ask everybody who is a registered voter, come over to my buddy, talk to him, sign up to be a volunteer. Let's go win a destiny, a new step forward towards justice, marriage equality. Let's go win this. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Give it up for Governor Inslee. It's going to be great to carry on the tradition of marriage equality leadership in the governor's mansion in Washington State, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Pride, everybody! Happy Pride! Yeah. You all look awesome. My name is Ryan Mello, and I'm very, very proud to serve you here on the Tacoma City Council. You all look absolutely wonderful. We love you, Ryan! <laughs> yeah, right. Very funny. I have the great honor of introducing you to the gentleman who's going to pick up in the big shoes of our Congressman uh, Norm Dix, who's been fighting for us in D.C. for some time, for over 36 years. My good friend, whose first campaign I ran uh, in 2004, 
in Geek Harbor in a very, very tough district. This guy runs in a very competitive district that's actually more uh, conservative than it is progressive. But he knows how to communicate with voters. He fights every day to create jobs and bring jobs to Tacoma and Pierce County every single day. He has a strong record of protecting women's health care and stood on the, on the Senate floor to protect the marriage equality for all. Derek is going to make a great congressman from the 6th Congressional. Derek Kilmer is the only congressional candidate, the only congressional candidate in the 6th Congressional District who believes that it's not a state's rights issue, that we decide this state by state by state how we win marriage equality federally, but that we should repeal the Defense of Marriage Act and everyone should truly have equal protection under the law once and for all. So give it up for Derek Kilmer, your next member of Congress. Well, happy Pride Day, everybody. I'm, I want to tell you, we have a reason to be proud as Washingtonians. We have a reason to be proud because we, as a state, passed a non-discrimination bill that said you should not be able to be discriminated against based on your sexual orientation. But our work is not done. 1974 was the year I was born but was the first year that our Congress considered legislation to have non-discrimination at the federal level. Our Congress has not done something that our state has done. Our Congress has not passed a non-discrimination bill. We have work to do. We need to pass a non-discrimination bill at the federal level and say that no one should be discriminated against based on their, or their orientation when they seek housing or they seek employment. Do you agree with me? Should we pass a non-discrimination bill? <laughs> we should be proud, and I was proud, to sponsor the marriage equality bill at the state level. But we have more work to do, and elections matter. We've got to defend that law at the ballot box. Are you willing to fight and defend that law? You heard Ryan mention, I'm running for Congress and I'm the only candidate in this race who has said I will stand up and fight for federal marriage equality. We heard in the, we heard in the 60s people who, who stood saying that we should deny people rights and that it should be a state's rights issue. I do not believe that equality is a state's rights issue. It's a basic human rights issue. You know, marriage equality ensures, and if, if you look at it at the federal level, it's things like social security benefits and veterans benefits and, and over a thousand rights at the federal level that get determined when you are able to get married. But it goes beyond those basic rights. Marriage is how we say we love each other. I will tell you, I am very proud to have been married to my wife for over a decade. And I, we have two awesome little kids. And they're the main reason that I'm running. And the main reason that I'm fighting for marriage equality. Because I believe I want a future for my kids where discrimination is a thing of the past. Where regardless of your race, your religion, or your gender, or your orientation, you're provided equal rights. Every night I whisper in my kids' ears three things. First, I say, please sleep through the night. And then I whisper, daddy loves you. And then I whisper the prayer that I think many of us as parents whisper to our kids. And that is, please make a better future for you. I want a future where we have equal rights for all, where we fight for marriage equality for all, and our work is not done. So let's get at it and let's get it done. So give it up one more time for Governor Inslee and Congressman Derek Kilmer. Let's make it happen. So friends, in a little bit we're going to introduce you to um, all of our great friends who are on stage who you get to vote for this year. Um, before we do, there's a lot going on about marriage and we have some friends here to our left, to your right, who are going to get you engaged in the Approved Referendum 74 campaign. We know three things and we know three things very clearly. We know that as we talk to voters out there one-on-one -on -one about marriage equality, we know that some voters are confused. Some voters don't know how to vote and that's why we need people to volunteer to 
educate people that it takes an approved vote to protect the work of the legislature so that we don't have to have that confusion with voters. So we know that. Secondly, the second thing we know, we know that when, when people are out and when people know a gay and lesbian person personally, know them in their workplace, know them as a neighbor, know them as a loved one, we know that they will be supportive of us at the ballot box because they want to protect us and protect our relationships. We know that. And the third thing that we know, the third thing that we know is that when we tell our stories about why marriage matters, when we communicate why domestic partnerships and civil unions and all those less than terms are not marriage, when we are able to articulate that to our co-workers and to our loved ones, people stick with us and will be with us for marriage equality and approve our Freedom 74 when all those crazy ads start, start, start putting hate on television and confusing voters um, between now and election day. So it is terribly important that you're out and that you're communicating with your loved ones about marriage equality. So it is super, super important that if you're with us, that you vote to approve and that you're willing to communicate with your friends and family. So if you're with us, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Stand up right now if you're going to vote for a referendum 74, if you're going to pledge to volunteer. If you're standing up, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're going to talk to your co-workers, if you're going to talk to your friends, if you're going to talk to your family. Stand up and raise your hand if you're going to support these great candidates that support us and the policies that protect our families. Thank you so much. There's lots of volunteers circling around right now. Please sign up for at least one shift to do that important work of communicating with voters about about why marriage matters. So behind me, I get to in introduce some of our elected, uh, local elected officials. First, someone who's not even on the ballot, not even looking for anything from you this year. Our good friend Marty Campbell, representing the East Side. Marty Campbell. Thank you so much, Marty. Another good friend of ours, who I serve on the Tacoma City Council with and is running for the 27th District House of Representatives, Jake Fies here. Welcome, Jake. Another really great friend of our community who's been at every town hall for marriage and everything we ask her to do. She's signed up for phone banks, she's given money, she's working her colleagues. The chair of our school board, because she knows how important it is to protect the future of Tacoma and Washington State. The chair of your Tacoma Public Schools, Katherine Ushka. Give it up. And then two other really, really special friends. You know, Lori and I um, work really hard in this community and we're really proud to do that. But two other openly gay and lesbian elected officials in Tacoma are really good friends of ours, working really hard to protect working people um, and make this a really great community. Anita Latch, who's elected to the Civil Service Board, is an out lesbian, working really hard to protect working families in Tacoma. Thank you, Anita, for being here. And our good friend who served us diligently on the Pierce County Council protecting our way of life, Tim Farrell, who's running for Assessor Treasurer. Thank you, Tim Farrell, for being here. I really hope these le le local elected officials continue to earn your support because they fight really hard for you. To finish this up, our good friend, State Representative Lori Jenkins, who's leading the charge in their state capital to make sure that all our families are protected. Give it up one more time for Lori Jenkins. introduce candidates, but it's so important for all of us here to recognize how important elections are. We did not get marriage equality and get to where we are right now without having these kinds of elected officials in our state. We wouldn't have been here. It wouldn't have happened without them. We didn't get anti-discrimination laws. We didn't get health care for people who suffer with HIV. We didn't get any of that kind of stuff by just sitting and waiting for it. We got it because we voted for the right people. And the reason these folks are here today is to support us, and I sure hope we get out and support them. I have the opportunity to introduce a number of uh, candidates and electeds uh, from in statewide office, and actually some county uh, folks too. I'm going to start at the state. We are very lucky to have our um, one of our candidates for Secretary of State, who also happens to be sharing a campaign office with me. Kathleen Drew is here today. Um, we also we have some judicial candidates. They can't take formal uh, positions on initiatives, but we've had a number check in with me today. Stan Rumbaugh is actually here. Stan. 
He's running for uh, Superior Court. And Bev Grant and Stephanie Aaron were here earlier today and also checked in with me. They're out doorbelling. So, um, so they're great uh, judicial candidates, too. Um, uh, uh, ben Lauver, who's running in the 29th Legislative District. Woo! So those of you from South Tacoma and Parkland, Spanaway, that, if we have any folks from that area here today, raise your hand. Ben's one of your candidates there. Um, I also want to introduce our um, Council District 4. We have two candidates from the County Council District 4, which is Tacoma's North End and the West End into University Place. Sharon Benson is a great candidate. She served on the uh, Pierce County AIDS Foundation Board. Wonderful candidate. And unfortunately, she and Connie Ladberg are running against each other. Connie's great. Connie voted for marriage equality in the legislature. Wonderful candidate. And, um, and her husband happens to be running for Supreme Court. And then the final person I want to introduce to you is someone who has been with this community from the times when it was really hard to be with our community. She was uh, the, the, one of the earliest executive directors of the Pierce County AIDS Foundation, served there for 18 years. She's been in the House of Representatives for 12 years, Representative Jeannie Darneal. Jeannie is... Uh, for a minute. Jeannie is now running for the Senate seat in the 27th Legislative District. She's been an incredible mentor for me and she has been someone who has consistently stood up for LGBT issues even when it wasn't nearly as popular as, as it is right now. And I want to tell you, she's running against somebody who is a self-funded multi-millionaire who today, on the day of Tacoma's Pride, sent a mailer out to people in this district, the front page of it saying, I'm going to give you straight talk. And then proceeded to say that he only supported traditional marriage. So I want you to understand that Jeannie's got a tough race. She's doing everything that she can to win, but we need to work for Jeannie. So thank you for being out here, Jeannie. And thank you for everything. Uh, and so uh, two last things to wrap up. Michelle Douglas is going to kill me. She says I always talk like 20 minutes longer than I'm given. I, I think I'm at about 18 right now, so I think I'm doing good. Um, uh, two things. One thing for fun, I really want you to think about later in the day today, the Mix, who's been one of the great sponsors of this event, is having a block party up the street. So you got to go up a couple blocks and skip another one, but get to the Mix, who's been a, a great supporter for, um, for this event. And finally, marriage equality. I know Ryan said it, but I just want to say it again to you. Folks, we don't get justice in this, in this state for free. We don't get to get marriage equality by not being involved. We get what we work for. I want to ask every one of you to work for marriage equality, to give money and time, and then when you think you've given all the money and time, you can give more. And I can guarantee you that you will never regret what you've done to, ch to achieve marriage equality, and you will never regret what you've done to make Washington State the first state, the first state on the face of the earth, on the face of the earth, to have marriage equality delivered to us by a vote of the people. So, come down to the approved referendum 74 booth right down here. Also, a lot, if you want to talk to the candidates, they'll be down there hanging out. Come ask them questions and thank them for their support. And have a great, great, great afternoon of pride. All right. Thank you, Lori Jenkins and Ryan Meadows and our politicians. You guys, give one more hand. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. Yes. I'm back here. There we go. They look go. Where's that voice coming from? Okay, y'all ready for the next performer?